Hello everyone. Today I'm going to work a little bit in the Cisco packet tracer program. First thing I'm going to do, find an end device down here in the left bottom. End devices are basically uh, devices that are not switches and don't uh, further send the signal further away. It's like an end station. That's where the data is going to. So, I'm going to choose a computer, maybe two computers. I just removed that by accident. There you go. Network devices. These are basically routers. I'm going to choose a router right here, 2811. Now that I have these two computers, I want to connect them to the router. I'm just going to use the automatic tool. It finds the right cable but that can also help you kind of uh, recognize what kind of cables it needs. Now I'm going to go into the router. The CLI. The CLI is basically the same as if you take a cable and put it in the console, the, from the console port in the router to your computer, uh, and open the software PuTTY. That's basically what this is. And you go into the router, type enable, Configure terminal. Now we're in configure terminal. I'm gonna add a host name, R1. R1 is basically just router1, so I know that it's what I want to call router1. Now I want to add a password to the enable command. Secret means password, and I am adding a password to the command enable, so people cannot get in to the router and fiddle around in there and change stuff we don't want them to change in. Just gonna make a password called Cisco. Exit. Exit. Enable. Password. There you go. Now that I have a uh, password and I have a name, I'm going to want a IP address for each uh, interface. And um, the way I'm going to go ahead and do that is I'm going to write in interface space fast ethernet. Fast ethernet is the only connection uh, this specific router has right now. I have no extra uh, connections added. I can do that over here. Uh, from this list. All I have is these two right now and they're called zero slash zero zero slash one and they're fast ethernet type interfaces which means they can max transfer a hundred megabit. Then I'm gonna choose a port Now we have chosen a port to edit in. Going to write IP address. Choose the IP address I want that interface to have. And the submit mask. No shutdown. Now we have changed the state to up, which means now it is uh, working. Exit. Maybe you've also noticed that now, instead of being red, the connection is green from computer one to the router. Now we want to change the IP address on the other uh, interface. Now we have two different IPs on each interface. If you want to know what the interface is again, uh, it is these two ports uh, or interfaces. 
This one is called zero slash zero, and this one is called zero slash one. Now you can see uh, that now we have two green lights. Well, actually four, but we have what we call connection. Now these now it, this only means that the ports are open. It doesn't mean that we can go in in the computer, command prompt, and ping the router. Because we can't. We haven't set up our IP address on the computer yet. The way we do that, we go into the menu, IP configuration, and we change the IP address. I'm going to change this to 192.168.1.2. The reason we can't name this one as well as the interface is because that's now the interface's IP address. So we have to run on the same private IP, but we have to change that last number. So this is going to be number two. Subnet mask, it knows that already. Default gateway is the interface's uh, IP address that we just gave it. IP config. Now we can see that I have added the IP address to the computer. Now we should be able to ping the interface or the router, I should say. Now we have successfully pinged the router. That now means that this side has now connected to the router. This side is not connected yet, because this computer does not have its own private IP address set up yet. At least not to match the router's interface. So we're going to click on the computer. Click desktop, IP configuration, and once again, change the IP address. Now we have these two computers successfully connected to the router with both their each own private IP address. But can we ping each computer even though they're running on different IP addresses and not on the same and not on the exact same uh, network? Well, let's try it out. This is the other computer's IP address. And yes, we can ping it as well.